namhlanje kwi making moves sizo besibhekene nomkhakha wobuhle nokuziphilisa Sivagashele uphosha mngomezulu ekhaya lami one business elikhiqiza izithelo zokunakekela isikhumba We manufacture skin care products using the ancient marula oil. Sipinde sihambe siye reimsi kuke ukritu skati at the Royal Luxury Spa. Laise zuzutiga kona gimbato ketegi ile yezi nwele kanyi nogu potulwa. From a young age, bekirata ho rekisha di ilo, rekisha di popcorn, mazimba, you know. Bobabili labo soma biznisi, pazo vagashele studio ukzo kuluma nga matrebo kuli soma biznis sabu. What is the big picture? Where do we want to be in five, ten years' time? Ushe nugu zipili sa mshaba chigelele. Kwa kiwe nge mtelo, ete ngiwa imdeni. Uguza iza nilise nge zitingo, ezi patisene nugu ushe nugu zipili sa. I think the beauty industry has dropped a bit, like beauty salons and so forth have closed. But in terms of hair, hair is growing. Imi kikrizo ya zitelo zobushe, nogu zipopota eni ngizi maafrika. Ya biza ama bilion au 1.9 wa marangi ngonyaga ka 2014. I think the beauty industry is doing pretty well. As a teen, I think that we are actually taking um, a good look at our beauty and wellness. I think the beauty industry is doing pretty well. Well, I would say that we still rely a lot on overseas products because I have never seen any beauty product from Africa or South Africa. When you look at the bigger brands, I would say competitively we're not doing well as women. In my hood, it's mostly guys that own salons. Most women, they work for the guys who open up the businesses. That are dominating this industry would be um, females because they're the ones that own most salons. Go 2013 is Zimbabwe. If you have a pandy, you can see my gates as it's in the same kitties or your bush, no go the pili say as in Africa. If you think I am a kitties or a pin de what's hard to go near as a Zambia. It's growing, but it's growing really slowly. If foreign direct investment picked the lazy FDI, Egum Kakawa Bushen, no goosey pili sending is in Africa, Yafiga go 2.19 billion Wama Randy, Opoma was in Gambani, Esifana, no L'Oreal, Kanye, no Unilever South Africa. entrepreneurs. Yabonage, shala la pushe likon, uzogugwa azuguti si tila ganja nuku ma business abu. Si funa futu wa azuguti ge bona, ba pega na ganja ni nengkinga, e itaula ma business wa. Here's our first story. I'm Posha Mgomezolo, the founder of the skincare brand Posha M. We manufacture our products using the ancient marula oil, which is rich in omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids, which is very good for your skin and very hydrating to the skin. Our products are especially manufactured for Africans, all races of Africans living under the African sun. Hi, this is Posha Mgomezulu. Um, from Porsche M Skin Solutions. Uh, this is my home. I'm with my sister today, Balesa, Hi. and my friend Fanele. Uh, we're going to the mall called Colonnade Mall uh, to do some bowling there and have some fun. Kichaldudiam, <laughs> Um, the bus trip here, but what the logo? I'm going to go to the school. I'm feeling. 
Ekaya to Nasa Bizango TV, her Johnny name, but then she was a cool sister. She was sweet, she was quiet, she was an introvert. Like, by the time we if she was not at home, there was a certain day, not church, doing somebody's hair. The first time I spoke to CD as a friend was at the church. Uh, she just approached me and said, Hi, Sissy, how are you? And said, nah, I'm fine. Then she's like, Okay, CD, I'm going to Then I'm saying, Okay, thanks. I actually know you from ATUT. You used to be a student assistant. I remember sitting by my window in my room most nights. Um, we would name electric fence uh, next to my room. We would name the and I will wish upon that because for me, I would like to be a little bit more. I would like to be a little bit more. I would like to be a little bit more. I would like to be a little bit more. Sidi is a good mother of two boys. I never thought I'd see her screaming at her kids and stuff, but she's very, she has that hand of discipline over them. Like, you know, with kids, you can't always be soft. They take selfies together. She's a very good mother. Yeah. For me, really, it's a blessing. I feel honored to even have kids today. I think I did very well for a beginner. <laughs> very well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed myself. Also, my business was one of the things that I was doing. I was like, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go Very very well. I'm here to see Porsche from Porsche. Sure, not a problem. May I ask your name? Sia. Sia, not a problem, Sia. Thank okay. you. Hi, there's a gentleman called Sia here to see Porsche. Would you mind having a wait for Porsche? She's not in the office yet. She'll be here shortly. Okay, cool. I'll wait for. Her. What's up, Bona? I know I'm we manufacture skincare products yeah. using the ancient marula oil, mm -hmm. which is no, the trees are normally found in the sub Saharan Africa mm -hmm. and mostly in Limpombo. Okay, it's Kuluma, Njenga Lewi Pete, Ite Cream. It's Kumba, Emin, Njenga Manje Langa, Leashisa. You need that uh, for your face. Oh, huh. You see the moisturized and then see it protects against the sun rays as well. Okay. And then we also have this oil, which is our tissue oil, tissue um, oil. which is very good for stretch marks, scars, and dehydrated skin. All right. Then Sinama body cream 40. The body cream is to enrich the cool. Yeah. Uh, tissue oil. Yeah. So that is for those people about 70 C oil, best baba dry afterwards. Mm. So they can use the body cream as mm -hmm. well. And then it's nama night cream, yeah. nama toner, nama cleanser as well. Yeah. <laughs> I guess Kalila, when I go to eat, test the lesson to Nama formula, no to Tuba, eating in a Macambi. What Tata would pick your bonkel, no more into Gutica, Nafu, Nemati, what Tomata, Nalu, Tuba, 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 Nalu, T
Uh, in product test, we test the Webaba. Mm. Uh, we are tested by the SABS mm. through the Medunsa Photo Biology Lab Laboratory. Mm -hmm. uh, so our products are SABS approved. Yeah. And you know, we have to see the lab effect of disease, the disease, the disease, the Yes. is when the batches that are made in the manufacturing base, a sample is taken from each batch and brought here to the quality assurance lab. How long will a process like this, like this take, especially for Porsche's products? Our standard lead time is 10 to 14 working days. Yeah. Yes, I was a common waiting. I am Kiboni Lutz, the corner of Mark and it's a big deal. Now, who was in the Lacon Kifunu and I'm going to put in Gaitanga. Umuntu Manjangas taller a macro, Nasa pick and pay, and then Nasa Jambo, 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 and then Nasa uh, most of our guys are my sales reps. Yeah. They are on the road. While fun labor, big, eat all of the stock cities, everything is delivered on time. And then the promoters as well, they are in stores. Oh, yeah, well, we should do Nathan Bell right here. So come on, all sales reps, and I'm a promoter. Man, I am a sales reps, and I'm a promoter. I'm a sales rep. The uh, fan notice were increased to four, so it's nine, four, mind you. Okay. I'm a promoter in total. Although they interchange, yeah. so Nabanda by 19 on our database, mm -hmm. we we'll promote throughout the stores. Yeah. Can I offer you something to drink, some coffee or tea? Ah, no, yeah, it's the yellow that was over right. Let's go downstairs. What's next? What's next? What's marketing yako. I marketing yenu ni enza gupingo hape like baby tige lezi ndo kumele ikama abantu bai bone yonki ndao. Our marketing basically si active kwa kulugu social media. Ama platforms afana nabo Facebook or Instagram or Google Plus nabo Twitter. I page led to Facebook leads wa nge Posha M Skin Solutions. Go Twitter we are Posha M underscore skin. I kamala mge mfane ele makakula. I was able to sell my products with Posha M. I was able to face wash. And after washing, I then used a toner. I'm going to move on to the day cream. This is me after applying the product. Ever since I'm calling seven days, I push a M Skin Solutions. My skin is more supple. See, I'm feeling cool. Yeah, well, I'm gonna call on a new one. We business. I'm gonna call on a new one. Cool, it's gonna go on. You need to go and do it. We na out decide to go to some gonna go on a new one. Ah, it's only the amount I go call on. Ah, I'm gonna call business. But if now we enter into a tender, yo. I think I grew up being an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. uh, even at work, while I was working as a medical engineer, mm -hmm. I used to sell things. And I to give me. So you know what? I do have a skill, say, say sales. And specifically skin care, uh, when I grew up, I was one of those people who discover isn't though is seven zayo for his noele or for his skin. Ngang tanda ngakulu wenza bantu kutipa bebaashe. Nabanga nbambo nge bebatu mafungu wenzi noele beze gimi or if they need makeup beze gimi. So yinte ngi tanda ngakulu wenza abantu bebaashe. So I'm doing what I love basically. Thank you so much. I'm not crazy about the name Porsche M. Generations to come, you will identify with Porsche M. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. I'm here for my first TV interview. I'm feeling very excited and overwhelmed at the same time. I'm expecting uh, to get a lot of uh, advice as far as my business is concerned, and also a lot of exposure that this will offer my business.
Research shows that there is a growing demand for skincare products that are not just natural, but still offer desired results. Yabonagi, ama kasmende, aya kwa ninga kaba nzuguti, hizi ipizi ntezi tagi yoguma products about seven design. Goba, benga funu kwa seven zisa anobungozi. Lokuge, kwenza ukuthi uposha, abo ono ukuthi ke lokuge na nika za makasmende ako, aya kwa zikuta sise, nukufeza hizi tingo zaabu. As an entrepreneur, as you know, I'm very, very excited to talk to other entrepreneurs. On other like you do, I was Porsche M Gomezulu. The product it's a high, it's a Porsche M. Porsche, why yes. did you start this business? Hi, Pepsi. Um, basically, I had a dream um, to make sure that Africa has its own brand of skincare. Who are some of your competitors in this space? Uh, my space is the retail sector where I'm competing with the likes of Ponds, uh, Johnson & Johnson and L'Oreal. So you're clear that those are your only competitors across your categories? In that category, yes. So categories. you've got six product categories. Yes. Why so many? Well, I'm female. I know that those are the main products that we need. For our facial care, we need four products, which will be your Marula Facial Cleanser, and you need your toner, you need to tone your skin uh, to make sure that the impurities are not there. Uh, we need, uh, you also need a day cream to protect you against sun rays and also maintain your complexion. And you need a night cream uh, to moisturize your skin and to make it youthful in the morning. Uh, so we've got four products for the facial care range. And for the body range, we've got a marula skin oil, which is recommended for stretch marks, scars, and dehydrated skin. That's what we need because your skin needs oil. And we also have a body cream. Uh, you need to moisturize with a body cream. Hence, I've got six lines. Thank you, sir. Well done. Thank you. So with the existing um, distribution network, yes. how many units are you moving in total every month? Currently, we're moving uh, 1,500 in 16 macro stores. Uh, that will improve with pick and pay because they will have exposure to about 300 stores. And uh, as you know, Pick and Pay is a family store. People walk in there every day. So our quantities and volumes are about to increase. So you've got the 16 stores, you're moving about 1,500 units yes. in total. Yes. Uh, which is about 100 units per store yes. of each product line. Okay. True, yeah. And then what about the independent distributors? And uh, you mentioned, I think, BB B, 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 Cash, B, B, and, K, Carry B, B, and, Cash and Carry. Yes. So what about that? How many units are you moving? Uh, there? We're moving about 1,000. Our independent agents are also working very hard because we're also now exporting uh, to countries such as Botswana, Swaziland. Yeah. So what is it going to take to make Porsche M the next big thing? More marketing, uh, giving people uh, the right product at the right price and make sure that our product works. So far, we're having very good feedback from our customers and our product has managed to go through across the color line because we get people who are Caucasian, Indian, colors and blacks who are faithful to our products. Uh, let's talk about the name. I'm not crazy about the name Porsche M. Why? Yes. Well, I am crazy about it because I believe that our names are great. Um, whatever your name is, it's great. That is your greatness, that is what you, your energy that you bring out to people, you know. And when you name something after yourself, that is the true representation of who you are. So this is what I'm offering to the world and I'll do anything to protect it. Because that's my that's reputation. Talk, because I, I suspect, yeah. with the little bit that I know about your business, yes. part of the problem <laughs> is that you're too it's about you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's about Porsche. Yes. How do we make it more about the consumer? Mm -hmm. um, because I hear, you know, I, I don't know about the name Porsche, yeah. first of all. Yes. Um, I don't know if it makes a very good product name yes. that's now going to become a national and regional product. Yes. Um, you know, so I, I don't know. I, I, I don't feel like you've given me a good enough answer. Okay, do you know Elizabeth? Mm -hmm. Did you like Elizabeth on her products? Did you like, do you think they thought this name will one day be a giant in the industry? But she, she did it because mm -hmm. uh, that's who she believed she was. She mm -hmm. was giving you who she really is. And that's what I'm giving you. This is Porsche. Those are the products I'm giving you. I'm giving you the best quality, the best research that I've done. And I'm still going to do in the future. And trust me, generations to come, 
you will identify with Pusha M. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. So let's talk about, you know, what are some of the challenges that you face in the business? Marketing is one yes. um, that we've identified. What mm -hmm. else? What are the other challenges? Uh, as an entrepreneur, you know, when you start, you are everything. You are the director, financial manager, the marketer, all of those things. So I'm in a space where I need um, more people uh, to give me a helping hand. And getting the right people, that is one of the challenges that I'm facing right now. What is the big picture? Where do we want to be in five, ten years' time? Uh, my passion is to really export to Africa, build an Af a strong African brand which can compete internationally. I know it's a huge task on, my, uh, on myself, but I know it can be done. Those who've done it before, I'm sure they went through what I'm going through right now, but the secret is just to hold on and believe it and see it. Because I've seen it, um, I'm doing this with the end in mind because I've already seen the end of what this can become. I really enjoyed our time together. Thank I'm you. going to send you off for a coaching session. Thank you. So you can talk to another entrepreneur, a business coach, somebody that can just support you yes. and help you to make up business, at least from the outside. Thank you so much. Sir. Okay, my dear. Thank you. Porsche is now going to spend some time with Lucas Moloi, who is the chief executive of the Junto Group, for a coaching session. coaching session. Hi, How did she go? What insights did she get? And whether she's learned anything from making moves. Making moves. The studio interview was interesting and challenging at the same time, but very exciting. I'm anticipating the coaching session. I'm looking forward to it. We have a surprise for you, Sia. Oh, I almost yes. sound like I'm a surprise. Yes. Isegamaninga ma business langa pande enza inuele neipa wonke enza umsebe nzo watu kutoa kuguti ge acha cha imali ge esuga suga nege ukzula aman yapa nage sisi watu avo isatu soguti gama nyama business enza gangono ukzula mani go na lumkaka logo bato kutoa la uguti gama kasme ndo abo ba opa tangu inzele esuga suga sika satu vaga shela ge royal luxurious hair studios yone ya sungulua uto watela tumele makam ukwazika bantu ukuthi business lakhe lenza kanjani ukuthi lithuthuke kuwona lo mkhakha My name is Dr. Tumelo Makamu I'm the owner of Sadi Hair Salon and Royal Luxurious Hair Studios we specialize in ethnic hair so if ever you need your hair to be done or spa massage or beauty services we have qualified therapists and hair stylists who can take care of you introduce you to my family. Uh, this is Mahwale. She's my firstborn daughter. Uh, this is Mdu. He's my brother-in-law. Okay, this lady over here, she's my sister-in-law. And this is my dad, the big man. This is my daughter, Vayeya, last born. And then this is my husband. Eh, over at school. We be ill. Muru dono mu kau ne kau science ne math. Kau ruwi la balu foundation ya ko. Se we si le si le kosa mu pusha ko re kana gua fija secondary school sa a play la me dunza a gira bonga me dize. We are kena together ko me dunza. So I was doing second year. And then what am I fresh? So I was back about to go to Raymond. When I look at no more more hot hot hot. Yeah. So she came and stayed on the same floor. I just checked the camera. Nana, the TV, nana, nana, nana. Black and white. So I started to look at no more. Billy and I were not on the TV. No corridor. Days of our lives go 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 
more yeah, and yeah. So this is where we, I usually spend my free time with my family, just to come and relax and hit some few balls. We're actually <laughs> still learning to play yeah, golf, so in a couple of months at Tabarale Munandeng. Losing our mother at a young age and then me being the first born, it made me to grow up quickly because we are five, so I had to grow up and then look after the, my four siblings. So I went. It was hard, but um, with a supportive father. I can describe her in three ways. I can say she's someone who's dedicated, very principled, very principled, and a very disciplined person. She She's very loving and kind. She's sweet and she helps you when you need help. We're very close to each other. We discuss everything. So I feel very comfortable with her. She's a, she's a hard worker. She's a, to me, she's a businesswoman. I always try to achieve my goals. I never give up. I'm good, I'm good, this one. Listen, before you have I've heard great things about you. You're a medical doctor. Yes. So my business. And before we talk about all of that, just let me take a walk around, give you a little client. This is how I'm Okay, no problem. You can go ahead. Okay, sis. How many times do you come to the salon? I've only been here three times. Uh huh. Yeah. And so far, how's the service and how are you finding like the it. treatment? I like it very much. So when I to me, I need my my bad visa when I bad in jail, I was on Bambi and Willie. That to me, I'm not to me. 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 I'm like I do when I need you. They are looking, follow my waves. They are relaxed. Yeah, they are tired, not tired. Yeah. But have you looked good? How will it make you move more depressing? Jare na lo hone. Obviously, it's a mixture of excitement and anxiety, but the overall, but have you? In the land of Kazela, from Kubangak. Yes. To now, so also my business. Yes. That movie, it's a hit situation because eh, but when I tell you, you don't tell a into and she ain't cool, you got cool and bagati. Eh. Eh. From a young age, we get to have the kishadi, lo, get the kishadi popcorn, mazimba, you know. And then I remember, I keep getting like a go fast city when I was actually studying medicine. I get there my third year, kabula store local flea market, get the kishadi plate, did you go miki, malapola. But unfortunately, next at TV, Bunchika kava kava khwen, so it didn't go very well. And then, so I always knew Hore Kinyoka Hore Radio khwen. What made you decide eating your food and je isalun? I mean, when the other business out there no holding no di naha nore. Maybe let me try this one out. The salon itself, you know, it just came as a business of business opportunity. Somebody was selling, oh. and then. In the right place at the right time, then I just bought and yeah. I fall, I'm, I've fallen in love with it. I'm enjoying it. Mm. What makes Saloon Yamo High unique for the Tete Firstly, our staff. Our staff is friendly, yes. they are professional, and we love our clients and we care about our clients and we try by all means to show them Rabarata and we care about their hair. So we educate them on how to look after their hair. We educate them on aftercare products. We educate them on aftercare products. We educate them on aftercare products. We educate them on aftercare 
which is the spa. Mm -hmm. And yes, the Google yes. thing or you know, you cater for ba 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 tang the exclusive, you know, treatment cabin. Please just take me through the whole process, yeah, spa. The spa is a hair studio combined with a spa. So e luxurious and then keep like a long hemoto anyaka you know, me time, you know, when you walk, first of all, Rebecca got the appointment mm. and then Okrea VIP treatment at its best. If you don't mind, tell us your bonus pass. No problem, let's go. All right, yes. Sure. Yes. More, it's a bit quieter than the other centre. Yes, yes. Was it uh, an ideal spot for you for at least, uh, you know, the studio here? Yeah. Yes, definitely. I wanted to bring it in a place away from the mall. Yes. So there's no noise here, Molung. Yeah. And then you see there's no traffic. Mm -hmm. And then Jose, if you So I just wanted a place, a long quiet, so people can have a peace of mind. Yeah. yeah. And how mm -hmm. long has uh, Spasakao operating from? It's been operating for eight months now. Yeah. Hey. So far, so good? So far, so good. Yeah. Yes. Okay, reception here, and then uh, this is our nail bar, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then Moki pedicure station. Yeah. So, oh, uh, hey, pedicure. Oh, 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 what yes. yeah. oh, what? Okay. Come on, give the main salon. So we come on the main salon. And then we have a surprise for you, see ya? Oh, I want to show you like a surprise. Yes. Hey. We're looking for a nice scalp treatment hey. with a head massage. So you can sit down, we'll just drape you nicely, hey. and then you get your shaka go basin in. Oh, you're done. Hey. How was it? Oh, no. It was brilliant, hey? First time for everything. Wow, okay. Yeah. Now I'm glad that you liked it. Bamba bagi Okay. Wow. Yeah. Can I ask you another thing? Yeah, I should tell you another thing. Do you know what? Can I go to Zola? Yeah. Uh, we did a pedicure. All right. Yeah, it's a classic pedicure. Yeah, this looks so lovely. Yeah, yeah, pila tattoo it. Eh, tell me, Zola, can I go now? Busy, but Bamba bagi e gala. Inzo ani no pause. Masi be angi si zulu. Inga bi yoni to try lugu yenzo muzi like hi. Yeah, you need to look in the, um, I also do the hair massage, mm -hmm. like you just had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's really relaxing and, you know, it, it refreshes you as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, when we walk on our heels, we always need to get that massage, you know, mm -hmm. for the next day. Yeah. Yeah. how I've learned a lot, you know, how we work our VIP treatment, they more work exclusive, and the difference between more later as a son as well. Mm. Okay, so did you do any kind of market research when you started? Because I mean, I, I could have told you that opening a beauty salon in an office park is probably a bad idea. Uh, to be honest with you, no. So why did you select that particular location? Uh... I feel excited now just before the studio interview I'm looking forward to it you know I'm hoping we will be able to tackle some of the challenges that we have as a business Umkhaka okwenza inwele nezo buhleke la ekhaya omunye ke umkhaka ezibangela indume ezulu uyabona ke ama customer ahleze efuna indawo la khona be ngenza khona inwele zabo gamanani akahle futhi baphinde bathole nempatho enhle Loku ke ikona ukwenza ukuthi Dr Tumelo agcine azivulele lakhe ke business kubona ke lomkhaka kodwa ke kukhona ke sisizizwile ukuthi ke eli lodwa le business lakhe alihambi kahle ke yona ke lenkundla usesitshudo nje ngamanje ukusixoxela ukuthi ke yini okudala umonakalo kulona leli business lakhe Ya ke le kwa mshana ngkhono jwa ka house ohlalusitse ke todi fukutsa le Dr Tumelo Makamu Dr Tumelo welcome to making moves Thank you Pepsi for having me What made you particularly unhappy about um, being in the medical profession Um from when I was in third year medical school I already knew that uh, medicine was not really for me you know so I knew from third year that I wanted to go into businesses because I love money and I want to live a good life, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Are you making money? Because I've got three businesses. With the two of my businesses, I am making money. And unfortunately, the other one is still struggling a bit, so I'm not yet there. Okay, so tell me about the three businesses. 
Uh, firstly, I've got the wedding butterfly. I do deco for all events and I've got a certificate in advanced wedding planning, so I'm a wedding planner. I've got uh, two ethnic hair salons. One uh, Sadi hair salon is just a normal hair salon for everyone. And then the other one, Royal Luxurious Hair Studios. It's a, a luxurious hair salon. It's exclusive and um, aimed at the upper class, you know. Well, you're not stretched too much across three businesses? I am, but um, I've got people that I trust, people that I'm training that are helping me in the businesses as well. Okay, so how do the businesses support each other or talk to each other? I'm trying to understand why these particular three businesses. Is there a method to your madness or is it just madness? Um, how did we get to these particular three businesses and how are they interlinked? Uh, when I started, it was just madness. But then at the moment, I'm trying to have a method and I'm trying to manage my things a little bit more in uh, order. They are interlinked to some extent. You know, it's just that we are saving different markets. Okay, so two businesses are working, one is not working. Yes. Which one's not working? Royal Luxurious Hair Studio is struggling a bit. Why is it struggling? The main reason I think it's struggling is the area where it's located. You know, it's in an office business park where it's not um, visible to people passing and we are not in a busy business park. And I think we have not done enough on our side to let the people know about the salon. Okay, so did you do any kind of market research when you started? Because I, mean, I could have told you that opening a beauty salon in an office park is probably a bad idea. Uh, to be honest with you, no. So why did you select that particular location? Uh, the small research that I did was uh, just talking to some of the clients or if there was something like this, would you go there? And most of them uh, gave me a positive response. So that's uh, one of the reasons why I opened it as well. And then when I had the idea, then I had like a vision of a uh, location. And then I went to this office park and I told this lady that, you know, I want to open something like this. And she was just like, I have the right space for you. And it's quite huge. It's quite a, a huge space. Okay, so how's that business surviving? If it's not making money, how are you keeping it afloat? Uh, most of the time, it's we really breaking even. So it is surviving. I'm just not making profit out of it. And then during the difficult months, luckily the study hair salon is able to support it. Okay, so, but it's not ideal to have one business subsidizing no. another no, business. No, not at all. So I'm going to send you off for okay. a coaching session. All right. Mm -hmm. business and hopefully Yeah. Um, so that you can move forward and hopefully improve. Okay. No, thank you. Okay, and then I'll chat to you afterwards. All right, thank you. Thank you. Dr. Tumelo is now going to spend some time with Ditebo for Dawn Storum, executive coach, leadership trainer, and a managing member of Mana Boutique for her coaching session. We'll catch up with them later to hear how their coaching session went. Studio interview was an eye-opener because he highlighted some problems that really we had never really thought about. And now as we go into the coaching session, you know, I hope that we'll be able to deal with some of the things that uh, we've already highlighted in the studio interview and some of the questions that I have, you know. You need to get people that fit into the culture of the organization. The challenges that we're facing right now is to get the right people in the right places. Uh, for example, for our production management, um, we're going into peak and pay now, uh, which is uh, going to be over 300 stores. You're sitting in a position where the business is growing very rapidly. Mm -hmm. And I know that, again, you are, you are a family woman. Yes. Now, you need to understand that it's now going to get even a little bit more difficult um, to spend time with family. 
normally, uh, especially with emerging entrepreneurs, when the business grows and that, the family starts suffering and that, and the minute the suffering in the family becomes critical and that, mm -hmm. it starts impacting very negatively on the business. Currently, I have like uh, two more permanent employees, including myself, so we are three, and I've got agents and promoters. However, we, need, we do need uh, manpower in the office. You need to get people that fit into the culture of the organization. Don't try to, to, to sort of make the culture to adopt people. You need to get people that are going to fit into the culture of the organization and that, because that is, that is the most important thing. Making moves. Osposha, you've done your coaching session. Do you agree with everything that Lucas had to say? Yes, I do. Uh, the advice was quite enlightening, especially as far as our uh, suppliers are concerned, that we need to vet them and make sure that they've got uh, quality management systems in place uh, so that we don't end up uh, running out of stock because of delays coming from their side. Hmm. Uh, Lucas, your general assessment of the business? Uh, look, the, the business to me seems to be growing. Um, but with... Uh, uh, every entrepreneur and that uh, is the business that started with 16 customers and she's sitting on, on 300 uh, stores that she needs to supply. Um, the biggest problem you start sitting with is uh, you were used in, uh, in supplying this much stock and now you've got a whole country of stock to supply and that. Um, one of the problems that are coming out with that is now um, where does she manufacture? If she's manufacturing in Johannesburg and that, how long does it take for the product to get to Cape Town and that? Uh, and that uh, managing of her stock levels at, at the stores and that becomes now critical. What interventions have you suggested for Gazon? You see now what it does, Pepsi, again, it now brings in the issue of uh, logistics as well. Mm -hmm. And she's not a logistics company, and now she has to manage logistics and that. Uh, but the biggest thing that is, 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 is a critical problem for her and that is that she's, she hasn't capacitated the business in terms of manpower. So she's still sitting and scared to bring people in the business uh, because if I bring people in the business, there's money to go out and that. So she's working in the business instead of managing the business. Now, what is going to happen in that case is uh, she doesn't have time anymore. She has to do the books. She has to do the invoicing. She has to do the stock uh, management and that, and it's becoming a problem. So one of the first things I said she needs to do is to capacitate the business. So she needs to get the core team in the business, um, building that, uh, that, that culture in the organization and that, and it has to be people with experience. Normally, entrepreneurs at, 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 at that stage, they go for uh, people that are less experienced because I spend a little bit less money on them, but it is now fatal if you do that because mm -hmm. you need people that are going to be able to build that organization, to build a culture, to build the systems in the organization, and then she can be able to grow that business. Okay, would we have me? Yes. And are you in agreement with the advice? Um, I am in agreement with that. Um, hence, as far as manufacturing is concerned, uh, we've taken a step to apply for grants uh, at the DTI so that we can have our own manufacturing plant, which will give us more control on, on our business. So, yeah, I've taken that very seriously. Congratulations. You've got a fantastic opportunity. Thank but you have to make it work, because if you don't make it work, all the other black women standing behind Ish, you, yeah. who are also <laughs> going to have similar opportunities in the future, mm -hmm. are going to battle to get into these big retail stores, because they're going to say, I want to hear, Porsche or Moon, yeah. um, how about mm. So it's your responsibility to go and open a door for other black women. So no pressure. Thank you, sir. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Okay, guys, thank you very much for coming onto the show. Thank you very I much. I love this subject and I wish we could spend more time talking about it. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Okay. How to get coaching session here, Dr. Tumelo Yona. It's a Maya Joa. What is the full name of the Royal Luxurious? It's Royal Luxurious Hair Studios. Okay. And what 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 services do you provide? We specialize in ethnic hair. Mm -hmm. We've got a spa there where we do massages. We've got a nail bar where we do nails. We've got a barber where we've got a separate room just specifically for, for the males. And there's an entertainment room for the kids. The name itself. Yes. It's not really very inclusive of what you do. When I came up with the name mm -hmm. and actually registered the name, I, I was actually just focusing on 
a hair salon. So okay. we're just going to do hair. Okay. Until then, I got the space. Mm -hmm. Then I realized, gosh, I can do just oh, much, so more much more you can that, do that I can space. do mm -hmm. with the space. Does it create some sort of a barrier when a person looks at a name? Um, perhaps, and this is just my assumption, mm -hmm. Perhaps you've got a flyer out there mm. and it, it has that name and a person is thinking, okay, I don't have ethnic hair, but I don't need my hair done. Mm. So this is irrelevant to mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. I need. Yes. Do you I think, think some of that yeah. could be happening? I think, yeah, the name uh, does not do, do justice to the, all the services that we provide. Okay. You know. How's done? You have gone, you've assessed Dumelo's business. Mm -hmm. What is your general assessment? What do you think of the business? You know, perhaps what we have in a nutshell, what I've seen, is that we have a typical case of black modesty. You know, we've got a, a, an entrepreneur who's got a very viable business, beautiful, brilliant business, but the candle is still under the table. Um, there are so many competitive advantages of this business. We came out with just a few, but already we can see that going through them, there's so much potential in the business. The venue that she thought was a disadvantage is actually a big plus for the business. And we we're looking at going forward and exploring more options, extrapolating more advantages. For instance, she's running a kiddies play area. That's a beautiful opportunity for a family to wake up in the morning knowing that we're going to spend the whole day there. So instead of doing just hair for 45 minutes, this family, the kids will be taken care of. She does catering as well. She does a, from hair to massages, manis, pedis, so the family can spend the whole day and spend money there, as opposed to if she was at the mall. But the other big thing is that the name itself is excluding the rest of the services that she offers. It only speaks of hair. If you give me a flyer and it says that, and I'm thinking I don't have ethnic hair or I don't need a hairdo, I'm going to stay away from your business. So many uh, services that she offers that are not included in the name. So what's the one thing that you're going to take away that you're going to begin implementing? Gosh, the session was quite informative. There's a lot that we actually have to work on. I think the one thing, you know, and that one has overlooked was their competitive advantages, you know, highlighting those things that makes us stand out from the rest. And another big thing is bringing a professional on board to help us with their marketing. And there's a lot of things that really we still need to work on. And I'm quite happy that, you know, um, Ausdorn, you know, uh, has helped us uh, going forward. Ladies, thank you very much. It was fantastic to have you on the show. Um, I celebrate you and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Today we learned a bit more about the beauty and wellness industry. We also learned that the success and failure in this sector depend on the type of service you offer to your clients. Tune in next week, Monday, for more phenomenal business women doing great things for themselves. Goodbye and God bless. My overall experience on making moves um, has been uh, mind-blowing, uh, informative and challenging and also made me look at my business in a different way. The whole experience was an eye-opener for me, for the business.